Welcome everyone, Secret History living inside of your aquarium and my aquarium, everyone's aquarium. You say aquarium, I say aquarium. I say fish tank. So, these Julii Corridoras are in my tank, and you can see they're swimming around the glass. Now, for me, these Julii's have been very lazy for probably six months. They've just been lame. I'm not going to lie. They're pretty lame. But they're doing something pretty cool right now, which is mating. And I don't know where they'll lay their eggs or if it'll be today or after this session or what. But there comes the other one. There's four in here. And the female will be the one at the top of a letter T shape. So you, hopefully we'll see it. I just started filming. But one will turn on its side and the males will nudge her. So that's the one right behind the rocks right now. The, nails will, the males will nudge her in the belly trying to get those eggs essentially or hint at that's what they want. So the, the, the one farthest to the top right now is the female that the two males are chasing. And there, that was the T position as they call it where the male the the female is swimming and the two males are trying to fertilize her essentially and they'll probably stop if i get too close but this is some of the most intense behavior of them mating that i've seen for a while in this tank and i just thought i would catch this moment and share it with you oh we've got four of them in on it now um so you guys now look for them where the head meets the belly. Where the head meets the belly, it, it looks like the letter T either right side up or on its side, but that is usually the female that is the top of the, the letter T in, in that formation. And she, that means that she's ovulating, she has eggs, and that the males want to impregnate her. The males will also go up and down and they'll do things uh, like gulping, which is a show of stamina and endurance. So they live in pretty shallow waters a lot of times, especially in the evening and morning hours. And they'll go up and down from the top two or three feet and uh, hit the, the top of the water to show like, look at me, look at all the energy I have, I can swim super fast, which a lot of fish do, either through endurance or acts of quick action but you can see the ones back there behind where you can uh, get a good view are really going at it and hopefully they lay some eggs that I can swipe out of the tank so now that you see what this behavior looks like it's definitely a chase and they definitely are headbutting one of them in the there there's the T headbutting the female in the belly and then they'll kind of sniff at her half back half from her stomach to her back half and then they'll kind of swim up next to her and try to like swim as alongside her which is how they um, impregnate so I just wanted to share this little moment secret things you don't notice maybe you just think oh the catfish have gone crazy uh, I haven't seen them for weeks and <laughs> they're somewhere down in the jungle but nope, they are mating, and that's what that's about. And soon they'll have little uh, eggs on the glass, hopefully. And hopefully I can grab those eggs on, on the glass and put them elsewhere where they won't get eaten, especially by the algae eater loves to eat them, and the gudgeons, not to, everyone in this tank loves to eat eggs. So you can see now they're probably done, these two. And the female's just going to rest for a bit, probably. Um, but I don't know. So I'll have to kind of pay attention to where they're hanging out, see if I can find where they lay their eggs together. And we've got two pairs pairing off. So here, the male is on top right now, chasing the female. There's that T position for a moment. Here comes that T position again. And these two are side by side. So it's awesome that we have two pairs in different stages of the mating process. Now, I put cold water, colder than normal, by about 7 degrees into the tank, which lowered the whole tank temperature about 2 degrees when I did a big old water change yesterday. And so I wanted uh, to see if that would actually spur anybody into breeding behavior. And 
you know, believe it or not, it worked. So that signals the start of the rainy season oftentimes for many species and specifically for Corydora catfish. And uh, you can see she's got that big belly. She's shaking herself off. She may be shaking out eggs any moment now. Um, so we'll have to take a look. There's no sand in this tank, uh, which is what you would want in a standard uh, breeding tank. But oftentimes they'll lay on the glass or a rock if they don't have sand for their eggs to be buried under. But this could be down here, very short order. This could be where they are going to uh, lay their row. So there, you're getting just phenomenal footage of Julii Corridoras uh, making their T formation. They're going to do it back here. They're the only ones who kind of go back in this section of the tank. It's kind of behind a false rock wall. And uh, yeah, they're really fascinating fish. The Julii Corridoras are one of my favorite just because of their markings. And uh, you see that spot in the plant where she keeps shaking her head and looking for stuff or whatever she's doing you know putting her pheromone i don't i really honestly don't know what she's doing but that is going to be where i check uh for eggs as well as looking for any sort of swarm or other fish like this crib who is also bare or not buried but um she is full of eggs <clears throat> i'm going to be looking for uh, places where other fish are gathering to make sure that they're not eating the eggs if there is a cluster. Now, usually they'll lay 30 to 100 eggs with 60 being pretty normal, and they're little teeny clear eggs, and sometimes you can see a little dot, eye dot. So this is the female here. She's got the big old belly, and she's wider and frantically going around now. So she's probably going to try to find a place that she thinks is safe to lay those eggs hard with all the fish in the tank so i just wanted to share that moment with you guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you know oh somebody's still trying to mate uh i hope that you guys now know when your corridors are doing this this is a classic thing called the t mating position that small catfish do and uh i hope that now with your newfound knowledge if it is new that uh you can kind of know what they're doing in their little secret world within the fish tank. Uh, you won't just be like, oh, the spastic catfish. This is as good as it gets for them. This is Corydora love. So, all right, guys, I will talk to you later. I'll talk to you during a live cast. And uh, take care of yourself so you can take care of the people and fish around you. And that's it. <laughs> this is weird. The camera's shaking, and I'm holding it perfectly still. All right, guys. No more oddities. I'm shaking like a I'm shaking like a Polaroid picture and or a female corridor. I'll talk to you next time. Sayonara. Goodbye.